What's going on, Sexy Samolander Squad? So I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for getting me to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's incredible. It's been my goal for coming up on six years and three months. So, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. Uh, I'm streaming right now. I'll show you. I can show you guys the chat. Ugh. Say hello to YouTube. I'll let you. I'll give you a second. Let the delay kick in. AIDS in my bum, huh? Leave a like. Hey, you see? Top tier looking out for me. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to comment. You know, yada yada. All that other shit. Um, fair warning. I will explain why I'm putting each god where I'm putting them. Uh, this is my opinion. If you don't agree with it, shut the fuck up. I don't care. It's a tier list. Which is literally just opinionated. Um, if you don't care about why I'm putting gods in a certain place and you just want to see the end of it, you can skip to the end. Uh, but for those of you in Twitch with me, I, you know, come back in 40 minutes, I guess. So, here we go. Let's start off with the most controversial one. I think Discordia is S tier. I don't play her often. Nobody believes me, but I think that she is S tier. This is probably the most controversial opinion I have in Smite that nobody, literally nobody agrees with ever. But she has one second cooldowns with mage burst damage like Poseidon and uh, low mobility, but it makes up for it in CC in the form of her two being a root and her ult being a disorient. So in my opinion, I think Discordia is S tier. I normally put her as plus, but I don't know. I'll put I'll keep her at S for now. And we're just gonna go through like this. Achilles Achilles is a weird one, because I think he's really, really good. The double dash, like the, the maxing the three and just like going six defensive items with or I guess five defensive items with the Hydras will just let you completely out-trade any other god except for warriors. Uh, you know what? I can't put him in the middle. Um, I don't know. This is a dual tier list, yes. He snowballs like crazy, yes. But from behind, he seems like he doesn't do that much damage. But then execute, an execute in duel that's actually effective is rare. And it's very strong. I'm going to keep him A plus for now. Agni, I mean, he's got really good range damage, but I don't know. If they're a god that can just beads your stun, you die, you know? Like, <laughs> Like if they if they beads your stun, you just kind of get ran at until you die. Like I think he's extremely, I think he's extremely good. But then I also have to factor in the fact that if you beads it, you, you know he just dies. Yeah, and he loses to blink. So AMC, you know, nobody has to tell you that one. I'll posh. You can like, can I put him like over here? I mean, look, Alpwash, realistically, he's not very good. <laughs> Straight up. He's he's not very good. But I think... I mean, dude, I'd rather play Sylvanas, honestly. He just lacks, like, everything you need. He's got not... He doesn't have good burst because it's so easily countered. He has a good sustained fight, but Duel isn't about, like, sustained fighting most of the time. Most of the time, it's can you explode your opponent? If no, then take the sustained fight. If that's the case, they're building 105% anti-heal anyways, which kind of makes his sustained fight terrible. Not to mention, upgraded Ankh just makes you lose in general. I'm going to put him at C. I don't know. He might be dropping a little bit. We'll see. On her, I mean, SS, S+, plus, he's got everything you want. He's got burst, he's got CC, he's got mo mobility. Um, 
He's got uh, increased percentage damage and a penetration passive. I mean, he's got everything you want. Amaterasu. This is a weird one because she was up here. And then her two got nerfed. And we stopped seeing play from her completely. Her two and her one got nerfed, I think. I don't think she's that much worse. Like, I would take... If this was a matchup, Ama versus AMC, I would want to be the Ama. Because you win that most of the time. But I think majority, she just loses. Because mobility is a big issue. But then her one, when you level it up, her late game is insane. I'll keep her on S right now. Might move her to S+. I think I'm going to put Discordia in the middle. Here, between S and A. Ama beats on her, I think. Ama's stupidly overpowered. I just can't decide if I want her in S plus or S. She was here, and then they nerfed her. We'll take it down one tier. We'll lower her one tier because of the nerf. She'll be S plus. Anubis. I think I don't like that this moves so much. Hello? 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 There we go. Uh, Anubis is so easily countered, you know? You get blink beads and he kind of dies. But if you don't build anti-heal, he will kill you. And his snowball is insane. As far as burst mages go, he's one of the best. Him and Poseidon. I'll just go ahead and fucking throw Poseidon at S+. Because that's nuts. But Poseidon has movement, which makes him better than Anubis. Anubis has better cooldown. But like Blink doesn't beat Poseidon because he has a knockback. He's got a wrap. But then if you beads it, you kill him. I don't know. Don't build anti-heal against Anubis, you're stupid. Yeah. Who is Ymir in math? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, Ao Kuang, I mean, straight up. I don't play him, and I've never seen him played besides Trelly Relly. Trelly Relly makes him look very good. But 99% of the people who play him... Is bad. He's got terrible early clear. His late game is really insane, which is why he's up here rather than down here with an uh, outwash. But uh, his clear makes it so easy to snowball on him. And a lot of these gods up here, you'll notice, are very good at kiting. So for this guy, he just kills you. Um, which kind of renders Aquang some, some bullshit, you know? Aphrodite? Yo, low key. Aphrodite being slept on. She's got a 30 second cooldown on a 2 second immunity alt. Maybe 3 seconds? Where's that bitch? Yeah, 2 second immunity alt. Max cooldown down to a 35, basically. With Chronos Pendant. That's, that's very fast. Oh, hold on. Let's just put Kali up here. And who is SS? Like, who's just unbeatable? Oh, Set. We're Set. You up there. Scotty, you up there. I mean, I don't have to explain these. They're pretty... They're pretty uh, average, I think. Um, Bakasura, he's pretty good. I don't know if he's... Like, I would take literally any of these gods over Bakasura any day. I would even take Anubis over Bakasura. I don't know why, but he seems so lackluster right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, nerfs or something that would put him down, but... No, I mean, he didn't get nerfed. It's just, like, he's not being played... 
We'll keep him at S plus. Um, Ebo, SS. SS and S plus, like, these are your must bans, you know? Like, SS is must ban. If, if he's not banned, you pick him, basically. Unless you want to have fun in the game. Um, who's some stupid... Oh, my God, Freya, dude. Freya is, like, three S's. Freya's up here. He's nuts. Freya beats anything. Freya beats everyone. Like, put all of these gods out once against Freya. She wins. They reverted her back to 2017. Which is just obnoxious. Like, it's... Make her her own tier list. I don't know, man. She's crazy. Yeah, like, I'd pick Freya over on her AMC set. Scotty. Uh, maybe even Hebo. <laughs> I don't know. You can't get to late game though. Dude, with late game, or with Freya 2017 version, you don't need to get to late game. You out trade Thanatos at level 3. If you have tier 1, like, let me put it this way. If you start with tier 2 Bancrofts plus your passive, you have 24% lifesteal straight out of the gate. Like, first item, you have 24% lifesteal. With your 2 and your 1 active as magical lifesteal, the way that calculates, you can out-trade Thanatos level 3. It's insane. It's 15% base. Yeah, and then... Oh, no, it's 29% lifesteal, right? Tier 2 Bancrofts has... 14% uh, on it. Not 9 Oh, it has eight. No, I was I was right. Oh, it was twenty three percent life steal. Twenty three percent life steal. Super strong. Okay. Um, who else? Let's just pop out these these S pluses. Um, I don't know. Kronos is good. I'd say Kronos is S. I don't know about S plus. They nerfed his movement a lot. Oh, fuck this god. She's crazy. I hate her. Ban her every game. Um, I don't know where Merlin goes. Pele. Put over here. I mean, if you've seen Paul play Persephone, she's nuts. But, like, nobody is Paul in terms of mechanics. You can't base a god judged off literally one player. Oh, Uller, right? That god's nuts. God, there's so many OPS gods. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Alright. A good Uller beats every god, in my opinion. Uh... Might agree with that. Pele is definitely S+. Plus. I don't think she's SS. Like, I don't think Pele compares to, like, Set, Uller, Hebo, Freya. But she does compare with Poseidon, Kali, Hel, Baka. All right, now let's go through this. Apollo, he's a hunter, which automatically makes him A tier because hunter's items right now are fucking insane. And the fact that you can get protections against other physical gods and hunter matches, uh, along with a global rotation, makes him A plus in my opinion. Um, the only thing he's really lacking is good clear early game. And that can kind of be fixed if you want to dash the wave. But then you're, you know, susceptible to dying. So I think sacrificing your early game for late game you, if you get the late game with apollo it's really strong move afro down a little bit i think arachne's fucking crap balls right now arachne's some ass they nerfed her one uh which means you basically don't heal from it her chase potential is nuts but like you can't clear and you can't outbox early game, which means basically you're sitting under your tower 
losing levels and losing gold for the first 12 minutes until you can actually box because you have items. So she's some ass. Fucking Aries up there. He's fu fucking Aries on the real. I think he's A tier. Now hold up before you guys roast me. His three got super buffed, okay? His three got super buffed. He can, he, his three at level three, if you put one point in the three, can 70% HP the, the red buff. Straight up. His clear, his three also pushes back minions, so you can get the entire minion wave. And if you 3 1 combo it, you clear the, the wave at level three pretty much. So his clear is actually good. The only downside really is that his alt is easy to counter and he has really long cooldowns. Those are pretty bad. Which is why he's A and I don't think he's higher. But in terms of Guardians, Ares is probably my go-to if I want to win the game. Artemis, just A tier I think. Beads shuts her down, but she's still a hunter at the end of the day, so. RDO, I'd say B+. Plus. A little bit worse than Ares, I think. Ah. I don't know. She does have a lot more CC than Ares. But her late game is a lot worse. You have to, like, with Ares, because of his passive, you can get a lot of damage without sacrificing tankiness. But you do have to sacrifice tankiness if you want to do it with RDO. So I, I think this is okay. Athena, I mean, she's got three abilities. They clap, don't get me wrong. But it's still three abilities. A Wheelix. Hmm. Really good fighting potential, honestly. Her fight, her boxing is insane. But her alt is only good for the power that it gives you in duel, because chances are you're never going to be able to knock up your opponent. The movement is good, the clear is bad, but the boxing is good at all stages in the game, early to late. With bad clear, but good boxing, but a little bit of a wasteful alt, I'll put her at B+, plus, maybe A. Y'all are saying S and A+, plus. y'all fucking crazy. You think a Wheelix can be literally any god up here? I don't know about that. She can compete with these gods, I think. Bacchus, B+. <coughs> He's got a lot of damage, but... Pretty much no CC besides his three being like a micro stun, basically. It feels like a micro stun because you can only use it to set up with your two pretty much. The alt is a disorient, which is not bad. But then his cooldowns are like a trillion and a half seconds long, even with max cooldown. If you can hit the knockup, she's crazy. Yeah, but this is based off like, I'm basing my opinions on these gods off of, I think the average player like most players aren't going to be able to pull off super weird shit with a wheelix like don't get me wrong there's there's people out there that make fucking athena look like ss you know like the, like her up makes mercury look ss but he ain't he ain't ss i'll tell you that much you know How are you going to put Athena under Bacchus? 
I guess, technically speaking, I do win more with Athena than I do with Bacchus. Actually, a lot more. Yo, Bacchus is some ass. Why does everyone like Bacchus? Baron? I think he's A+. Plus. A+. Plus. Not quite S+. Plus. I don't think he's that great. Anti-heal shuts him down quite a bit. But he's very, very annoying. You, can, you put max cooldown on him, you just spam enough abilities, eventually one of them's going to hit and they're going to die. The average player on Arachne could probably clap the average player on, on her, though. That's not true. There's no chance that's true. Because, like, maybe in Conquest, when they got a lot to worry about, but in Duel, when all you have to do is focus on pinning or alting the CC or anything. Unless the average player you're thinking about is Bronze 5 and misses every ability. In which case, yes, melee does beat ranged. <laughs> Um, Bastet, yo, straight up, S+, plus, or S. No, maybe A+. Plus. Maybe, maybe she's, like, with Discordia. Bastet is obnoxious. She's completely obnoxious. Max cooldown, late game, you can't catch her. She gets that fucking movement speed from her one. Her clear is really good at all stages in the game. Her fighting is really good early game because of cats... And really good late game because of the max cooldown with the abilities. She struggles mid game when a lot of people get their power spike. But besides that, I think she's really good. I actually do think Bastet's really good. Uh, Bologna can go at S tier. Because, well, I mean, fucking, she's Bologna. Oh god, Kabracken. On paper, Kabraken seems A tier. On paper. But in order to clear a wave effectively in the early game, you have to use your three, which requires your entire mana bar. Those cooldowns are a little bit on the long side, nothing compared to Bacchus or Athena, but... Hmm... His fight is really good late. And it's not bad early. It's really strong mid game. The only problems with Kabraken, honestly, are his long cooldowns and the fact that you can counter his abilities so easily. We'll keep him at A, I think. I think it's too easy to PvE him. Yeah. You can you can kinda just run away from him, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep him at A for now. I might change it. I'll do some like after I'm done explaining everything and going through all the gods, I'll do some changes at the end. So not, nothing here yet is final. Um, it's just like a rough estimate of where I want them to go for now. <coughs> Kamazots, A+, plus, maybe S. Yes. Do I want Kamazots? To be A plus or S. His jump, he did just get buffed. He's never been bad, he's just underplayed. And he did just get buffed. We'll go S tier with him. I think we're gonna confirm these on A plus right now. Cerberus actually good, I think. Like legitimately good. Protection Shred plus uh really quick spear the Magus. 
procs make his penetration game really strong. Um, his sustain is good because of his passive and his three. Good clear. I like I like Cerberus. Kernigos, huh? Yeah, his pen game is strong, dude. I hope he pulls out. Cam or Kernanos automatically at A because he's a hunter. Uh really good boxing potential. Pretty good clear. Really good buff clear. Good movement ability. And he's a hunter. So he has that build route. Put him at A plus. Chalk. A plus. I mean, Warriors in general right now run dual. Like, Warriors are the top tier, in my opinion. Because you can build Runic Shield and counter all of the mages. Or you could just go, like, Breastplate Hide of the Nemean for your. Or, sorry, uh, Blackthorn Hide of the Nemean. Still do infinite damage and reflect all physical damage, too. So, like. Warriors, in general, are really strong. Chalk, I think, is extra strong because of the fact that his passive makes it so you don't have mana issues early game. And uh, you never really fall off. Like Your early game, your mid game, and your late game are all really good. I think his best is his, his mid game, but... You think Chalk is pretty pretty good. And he has pretty low cooldowns too, actually, when you have max cooldown on him. <laughs> Put Loki into the Shadow Realm right now. Good idea, dude. Fucking peep out the corner. <laughs> little, like, peeping out the corner over there. <laughs> Alright, let's put him over here. Um, I mean, Loki's some ass. I'd rather play RDO. I mean, if I'm honest, I'd rather play Arachne. But I think he's better than Arachne. I also think he's better than Bacchus. I think this is pretty good for Loki, actually. One, you lose all of the respect in the world if you play Loki, which automatically makes him terrible. Two, they nerfed his auto cancels. And three, more and more gods are coming out every two weeks to counter stealth. So, yeah, B+. Plus. Chang'a, ooh. Okay, Chang'a's weird because because her early game clear is terrible, right? But, her passive is super, super good in duel. Never having to leave lane, you pretty much guarantee red buff. As long as you're buying mana pots on cooldown. Her late game is unbeatable. Her late game is so strong. You really just, like, it's about camping up and... Smacking. Hmm. I don't know. Pretty good, actually. <clears throat> if you can make it through the early game, I'm pretty sure you win. These are all like snowball characters. I don't know if you've noticed that. Like, win early game. Win late game. Win early game. Or win late game, sorry. Win early game. Win late game. Win early game. Win late game. Win late game. These are all like, eh, you might win at any point in the game. These are like, eh, you're probably not going to win. These are like, uh, eh, you're going to win at any point in the game. I feel like it's pretty good so far. Uh, Chernobog? Wait, is it Chernobog? 
Oh my god, is it Chernobog or Chernobog? Oh, it's Chernobog. Oh, right here, it's an, it's an A. Alright. Someone's getting banned. Definitely an A. Jesus Christ. Um, anyways, he's a hunter, so put him at A. And I think he's not the greatest hunter. He does have a really good attack speed steroid, but his alt is pretty shite. Uh, his 3 is good. I keep an A. Chiron, he's a hunter. Put him at A. So my thought process is his passive gives him a lot of healing, which is really strong for the early game. And he has pretty good clear early game as well. The only problem is he's not exceptional at any stage in the game. His, I'd say his mid game is probably his best, and that's not something you want, really. Does alt with fail not, though? Yeah, but you don't build crit and duel. Too easily countered. I think, I think it's pretty good to stay at A right now. I mean, look, the way tier lists go, you want about 30% up here, 30% down here, and 40% in the middle, right? Like, like B plus A, A plus, you want like 40%, 50% around here. So, this might look a little stacked up top right now. That's just because I got rid of all the good ones in the beginning, just throwing them up there because everyone knows they're OP. Um, Kukulin, he's good. I don't think he's that great because you can't really control, um, like you can't alt whenever you want and, and turn into the, the man, turn into the guy. Uh... But he does have anti-heal built in. He's got good clear at all stages in the game, and his boxing potential is not bad. All right, I convinced myself. A plus. Cupid, Hunter, good sustain. Really long cooldowns. Really bad clear, but really good fighting potential. You can stay at A, I think. Daji, B plus? No. I mean, like, Kabrakin. I'm still like, I don't know if Kabrakin should be A or B+. Daji, I think, is a little bit better than some of these gods in here. Her fighting potential is insane. Her clear isn't bad. Her late game's nuts. A+. Wait, Ares is A? I mean, dude, he's he's crazy. After the buff they did to his 3, he's crazy good. Erlang Shen goes up to S, I think. He's an auto-attack based warrior, which means stone cutting, kins, executioner, uh, fatalis, frostbound, all those stupid ass OP items are really good on him. And he's a warrior, so, you know. There's that. His clear is really good. His boxing potential is fucking insane. And it never falls off. His clear never falls off. The only issue is he's got a pretty long cooldown on the three, really. Toxic is on par with stone cutting. Yeah, that's true. Toxic is super broken. I buy that item every game I can. Fafnir can go with, with Bacchus. For pretty much the same reason. Early game, you suck ass and you can't clear and you're going to die. But late game, if you can get there, but late game, they're in for a fucking treat, you know? If you can get there, you're going to kill him with ease. But chances are you won't get there because he can't clear shit. And he's got really long cooldowns. So, you know. A little unfortunate for him, but I think that's where he belongs. Late game Fafnir, dude. Late game Fafnir is so OP. 
But, I mean, I yeah, you can't put him any higher than B because, like, yes, his late game is crazy good, but at the end of the day, if you miss your one, it's got an 18-second cooldown. <laughs> like, you've basically just half-alted by using your one, you know? It's pretty, it's pretty spooky. So you just get too far behind for him to be viable, I think. Fenrir, I think, is really good. I'll put him at A+. Um, you can build him. He's an assassin, but if you just build him super tanky, he's got one of the highest base damage assassins in the game. Uh, so you can just kill people with full tank. It's pretty bullshit, actually. Uh, Ganesh, put him at B. Maybe even C. He relies, like, Ganesh relies so heavily on your skill that I don't know where to put him because, like, if you can hit the alt 3 combo every single time, then he's, like, A. But, like, majority of people hit it maybe once per game. And because it's so unreliable and so hard to do, I think you just got to put him at B. Not to mention long cooldowns again, most Guardians to have them. Yeah, put Gab at B plus. I think Gab is better than these three and on par with Athena and Ardeo, and probably worse than Kabrak and Cerberus and Ares. So I think, in terms of Guardians, I have the right placement so far. Guan Yu, huh? Honestly, I have no idea. <coughs> How much do you need to donate to get Arachne up one tier? Um, $20 or more. Guan Yu. Let's see. I like his clear because it's good with the three. I like his boxing potential because it's pretty nutty with your two. Resetting cooldowns, or not resetting them, but lowering them by two seconds. Your alt is insane. I mean, I don't have to explain that one. That's just good. And he is inherently tanky and has the added bonus of being a warrior who can build runic shield. A. Plus. A. Yeah, I think I'd be okay, actually, to fight all these guys on Guan Yu. Like, the only hard pro person, I think, would be Agni here as Guan Yu. And I think Guan Yu stacks up decently well against these guys. I would put him at A+, plus actually. With the AoE auto A plus IMO. Full movement speed Guan. Guan is A at least. Yeah, I think Guan is A, A, A at least for sure. But I think he's A plus maybe. Uh, you know what? We'll keep him at A just for argument's sake. Hachiman, he's a hunter with no mana problems and good clear and high scaling. A plus. Hades, he's a mage. Amazing clear, amazing fighting potential, long cooldowns though, which kind of suck, but I am loud of superstar Sand to Hades, A+. Hera, S, I mean having a 2v1 is really strong, and Argus is kind of busted. I've been playing Hera off stream a little bit, just picking her, maxing the 3 and alting people. And using the three, and they just kind of die. So, yes, Hercules. Oh, man, I want to put him at S because I love him. He's so good. His snowball is so insane. And late game, you just fucking bot people for like twelve thousand. Plus, my crit Hercules video just broke over a hundred thousand views. Uh, I think Hercules is so good. Okay, I want to even this out a little bit. 
I think these go down. Alposh and Arachne, you probably should never pick. These will go down. 1500 Zexit, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Um, And I think maybe a Wheelix. I actually like the look of this better, I think. <coughs> I like the look of this better, I think. Okay. Um, Horus. And B. Honestly, he's trash, and the only reason that he might even be slightly good is because you can build Hydras and double proc it with your one. I mean, that's just facts. Oh, he's crazy. S plus. I don't have to tell you why. Huge ult, lots of damage, good mobility with the jump that's pretty much instant. He's got a stun. He's got a scaling uh, percentage damage increase with his two. And his passive is to not get crit. So, I mean, it's pretty strong. Hun Bats, B+. Plus. He's got good clear, but really long cooldowns and bad positioning to use the clear, which makes him poked out very easily in his late game. Or he's very easily countered by beads in the late game. Yeah. All right. Uh, was was stop popping up on my screen with the name. Stop. No, no, no. Go away. Okay. Um. So we got was was, aka the Egyptian goddess of demonetization. Really good clear. Really good fight. Really good alt. Countered by anti heal a little bit. Um, but with so much CC and a shield silence that's two seconds long, with a lot of damage. I'm a. I'm a put her. I mean, shit. S. I think she's as good as Hera. But I could be overvaluate. A. Plus. S. Changa goes down. By the way. I think Kukulin goes down. I think. Alright, I like this. It looks pretty fucking even so far. It looks really good. Sam is slowly thinking, sinking further. Dude, I literally just did that and I have to sit up again because you called me out on it. God damn it. I was comfy. Um. Oh shit, one second. I got a new contract in my egg ink farm. Izanami, she's a hunter so you put her at A. AoE auto attacks with an with a uh, burst button, basically, of a 1. The only negative is that her movement ability is on, like, a 685-second cooldown. <laughs> and sometimes you don't want the, uh, the AoE auto or the boomerang auto attack. Sometimes you want... Just a normal one. Dude, is Chang'e bad? I feel like Chang'e is bad. But like when I explained her, she, she just seems so good. But like the more I think about it, like the more it's hard to win with her. Oh, we'll keep it there for now. Dude, Giannis can fuck off with the Ds over here. Literally has the lowest win rate of all the gods in Duel.
Um, Jin Wei, I think she's pretty good. I don't think I think I think she's probably worse than all the hunters though. In terms of duel. I think Horus is worse than Kepri. I think not. I'd rather play Horus than Kepri. But then again, I do have a lot of fun when I play Kepri, but I don't have fun because it's good. I have fun because I suck. And it makes it funny. Why though? She is a hunter at the end of the day. Yeah, but you have to use all of your abilities in combination, and then you're just a fucking sitting duck. You know? Like, if you want attack speed and faster um, movement speed and shit like that, you have to use all your abilities at the same time. You know? Jormungandr is surprisingly... A. I think he's really good, actually. In terms of Guardians. I think he's really good in terms of Guardians. Hmm. Wilix should be higher IMO. A good player can fuck people up as a Wilix. I'm not basing this off of a good player though. I'm not I'm not basing this off of the masters and GMs. I'm basing this off of what 75% of the community is, which is gold or lower, you know? And that means most of the community doesn't know how to combo her alt and her two. Um, or use the alt effectively for just power or anything, you know? King Arthur. I actually quite like King Arthur. But I do think that he's a little bit lackluster. I'm going to put Jorn down. No, I'm going to put Chang'e down. I've decided. Chang'e goes down. Oh, God damn it, I don't know. Fuck it. Okay, she's down. She's down. She's down. King Arthur is good. His late game is a little lackluster, but he's got like 48 abilities, and you just get Glad Shield. And, um, you know. Yikes. Kukulkin. Okay, look. I think Kukulkin is being slept on. Now, I'm not saying that he's up here, that he deserves to be up here. But I'm saying that he is strong, okay? He doesn't have that much movement. And his ult is a little bit hard to hit. But his 3 is instant clear. You can camp like a motherfucker. And his 1 hits for like a 1,000 late game. And he's slow immune during his 2. I love that god, dude. That little fucking snake. He's lit. Kumba goes with Horus, I think. Better than these gods. Worse than these. Um. <coughs> Yo, Kuzumbo. High key, B+. Plus. Maybe A. But because... Uh, I don't know, because late game, you know? But no, nah, I'm gonna keep him... I think B+, plus is the right spot for him. Reasoning is just... It's annoying. Alright, this is 50 minute video by the way, so let's speed this shit up. Medusa, A, she's a hunter. A+, because she's good in my opinion. Mercury, uh, B+, he's an assassin. He really only shines in the hyper late game. But if you get the hyper late game, you win for free. So like, B+, plus is okay, I think. You think Ares is better than Kuzumbo? Oh, big fuck yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Merlin, I don't even know, dude. Everyone keeps telling me he's so good, but I suck ass. For me, he's like A, I think. For most people, I think he's S. Neath, she's some ass. You can, you know what? Stay at B plus. She's not actually ass. She's pretty good. She's got a heal. She's got a backflip. She's got really good clear. She's got a good alt. She's actually pretty good. Uh, she's A+, plus, I think. 
Nemesis. Yeah. Bad, like really bad clear all the time. It literally never gets better. <laughs> so probably just A, because her fighting potential is insane, but her clear is some ass and never gets better. Naja. Mm. Yeah. I think A is the right fit for Naja. He's really good at exploding people. Actually, maybe A+, plus because if you just build him tanky, you win the game for free, kind of. Kind of. I don't know. Nike's B+. Plus. I think she's good, not terrible, not amazing, you know, like... I would pick her and still be like, okay, I can try to win this game, you know? Nox, she's some ass, you know? Heavily relies on a combo that's very difficult to hit and very easily predicted. Um, Nuwa, probably B+. Plus. Probably B+. Plus. <laughs> she's good. Her ult is pretty ass until you're level 20. And even then it's still ass, honestly, in duel. It's just easy to counter her minions, which are really a huge part of her kit. So easy to counter her minions. Yo, high key? Odin can be at C. I would pick Horus over Odin. Wait, no, I wouldn't. All right, we switched Odin and Horus. Yeah, that's better. Okay, Oleron, you can be at S. You're crazy. I think Oleron's nuts. <coughs> I'm very bad with him, but uh, I've seen him played quite a bit, and he's so fucking good, dude. So good. All the time, every time I see him. They have like 68.0 attack speed with their alt up, just like fucking chucking things that honestly shouldn't be chucked. Osiris, I think, is S because he's an auto attack warrior. He goes up here with Bologna and Erlang. I think he fits pretty well. Um, Persephone, I mean, B plus proved me wrong. I don't know. The only person who's ever proved me wrong that Persephone is even semi good is Paul, which is why I'm putting her B plus instead of B. Because Paul can make her look good. But uh, I think she's some hot trash. And uh, yeah. I don't know. Prove me wrong, I guess. <laughs> Raw? I mean, it's really hard to confirm anything. With Raw. I'd put him up at the same one as Persephone, maybe. B+, plus, are you fucking insane? Persephone instantly wins against any melee. and still be most other mages and hunters. No. Look, literally, if you just walk to the left, all of her damage misses you. It's, it's so fucking easy. It's insane. I've lost to one Persephone, and it was Paul. Her alt is good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, whatever. This is my opinion. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is my opinion. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. You know, do what you want. Persephone can easily beat Pele. I mean, I just beat Face when he was Persephone and I was Pele. And he's a way better player than I could ever be, so... Don't know if I agree. Raijin, A tier. He's a mage. Pretty strong. Yaga yeets people into the fucking nether realm. But also has an 18 second cooldown leap. Um, that also takes a second to go off and can be stunned out of. So, eh. 
Rom, he's a hunter, so he instantly gets put to A. I don't know. All he can do is auto attack, which is very easily countered in duel just by like thorns and hide. Do I put him at B plus? I, I don't think he deserves to be higher than A. I'm just contemplating on if I should put him at B plus or A. I think I'll keep him at A. He is a hunter. The only reason that Jing Wei is a hunter and she's in B plus is because you have to use literally your entire kit just to get your combo off. Rom doesn't need to use his kit to get his combo off. Alright, right at Tasker. I mean, use some ass. So easily stopped by like everything in the game. <laughs> like honestly, Odin, Nox, Geb, Ao Kuang, Kumba. I mean shit. Maybe even Ganesh and Fafnir beat beat Rat. <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy. I don't know. I'll put him at B just because I think he is better than like these guys in like a normal Average players' hands, I think he's better than, than these players down here. Oh, God, I just scrolled way too far. Uh, B plus, Ravana. I think he's... Actually, I'm going to put Ravana at A. I think that he's slept on a little bit. I think he's pretty strong. Uh, that immunity he has is really big. And you can build a lot of damage on him and just fucking go off. And he's got some sustain with his three and a lot of clear. The only issue is late game, like, he loses to, like, all these gods. So. Base game is blocking some of the tier list. Uh, no, it's not. This is the last one on B+, right now, is raw. But I can turn it off. Um, Scylla, I think she's A. Not too great, not too good. Good clear, you know, she's a mage, late game she... Pumps numbies, but that's it. Um, Sir Kett can blow me. Fuck this god. So pack. Do I like Sobek more than Geb and Kumba? I do, actually. <clears throat> oh shit, we're almost at an hour. Alright, we're gonna speedrun these last few, okay? We're just gonna speedrun these last few. Sol is A+. Wukong is... A+. Susano is probably A+. Sylvanas, we'll put you at, like, B. I do like Sylvanas more than any of these guys, so, yeah, I'll put him at B. Terra, yo, meet me at A+, bitch. Best Guardian in duel right there. Only second to Ares. Um, Thanatos, put him at A. If he doesn't snowball, he loses. Morgan... I actually don't know much about Morgan. I'm going to put her at A just because it's in the middle of the board. And I'm ignorant when it comes to the Morgan. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't judge her. Thor. Uh. B plus. Not terrible, but certainly not good. Thoth, I'm going to put an A+. Plus. His range makes him insane. Tyr, I'm putting at A+, plus because he's crazy. I'm going to all put at A, because I don't think he's as good as any of the other warriors right now. He is an auto-attack warrior, but 
he doesn't seem as strong as the others. Just because he's so easily countered by uh by anti heal. You can actually just outbox him if you get anti heal. Vulcan, meet me at S. That guy's fucking busted and stupid and I hate him and he can fuck off and Ugh. Wait, come back, sorry. X Bow, he's a hunter, but like he's a bad one. He gets B plus for sure. Yamoja? Okay, hold on. Yamoja gets to A. Hear me out. I played a Yamoja game. Late game. She's crazy. She's actually crazy. You just alt and use 20 abilities and they die. Whether you miss or not, they just kind of fucking die. Um, Zing Tin. Uh, B? Plus? I like Zing Tin actually. I think he's pretty good. Ymir goes to B plus for sure. People are gonna get mad. Like Ymir deserves SS. No, I think he's in the hands of really great players. He looks like he's amazing, but or I guess players that are experienced with him. But you put him in the hands of some rando, they'll just get their ass beat like every other rando that tries to play Ymir. Kind of like myself. Zeus goes to A, pretty average. Um, Zong Kue, actually like A+. Ymir's early game is uncontestable. You can find me on that? Yeah, but I mean, that's what I'm saying is like he's B+, because of his early game. Alright, now one quick run through before we end the video off. AMC, on her Freya, Hebo, Set, Scotty. And Uller. I actually think AMC deserves S plus instead of SS. That's just me. Um, S plus, AMC, Amaterasu, Bakasura, Hell, Hoi, Pali, Pele, Poseidon. I think those are all pretty good. I think those are all pretty good where they are. If anything, Vulcan needs to move up. Uh, Alright, S tier. AMC should be S, not even S+. Plus. I beat countless AMC mains and Master with Hoi and Poseidon. I'm not talking about the high ranks. Guys, I'm trying to make my tier list accessible to people who are starting the game at an average level. If they are just getting the game or they're just starting their ranked, they're going to be bronze, silver, or gold, right? For at least the first, like, few months that they're playing, they're not going to be able to get out of that. They aren't going to be fighting the best players in the world right out the gate. I mean, they might because Smite's matchmaking is bad. But I'm making this for the average player, the gold players. Uh, anyways, S is Anubis, Bologna, Camazots, Kronos. I actually think my S tier list is perfect. I actually think that you shouldn't add or take anyone away from my S list right here. I think these are all perfect. Um, all right, let's just go over these gods in my head real quick. Uh, uh, Auto attack mages are pretty good, but. I don't know if Baron should go up actually. Put that off to the side, make that decision after. Hmm. 
Yeah. I think Al Kwong gets to move up a little bit. Just because of his late game being insane. Okay, Baron, I don't know if he should be A or S, or like A plus or S. So he is going to be the only person on my list um, that I want to put in the middle, right here. Okay, <clears throat> so I think this is my final list. You don't have to agree with me. In fact, I encourage you to disagree with me, form your own opinions, and state them in the comment section below. If you do agree with me, that's great. Um, again, I did make this for the average player. Uh, if you want to, you can come to my stream, and I'm going to change this around. Actually, my stream is uh, twitch.tv slash samdedude. It'll be the first link in the description below. But uh, I'm going to change this around and make a command, exclamation point, tier list. And uh, this will be this will be it. But I'm going to change it around to what I think it is on a GM level. But yeah, this will be the uh, this will be the normal tier list for pretty much the average player. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you guys so much for a hundred thousand subs on uh, on the tubes. Been a long journey, but we finally got there. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.